Okay, today I am doing a video that I have been wanting to do for a long time and just haven't gotten everything together to do it. Um, it's bath salts. Bath salts are crucial. Um, they make a major uh, difference in my life and uh, my experience with them has just been phenomenal. Um, my, I like all of these salts. Um, they all are beneficial. Um, primarily the thing that I like is Epsom salts and because the magnesium just relaxes you. Um, really, these are all natural salts. You've got your sodium uh, bicarbonate, which is baking soda. Now this is a byproduct of, I'm not sure what industry, Arm & Hammer, uh, there's it's still a debate. A lot of people say, oh, the Arm & Hammer has... Uh, it's natural. It's the straight from the ground. I, I think if they, if it was, it would say it. Um, that's my conclusion. I use Red uh, Bob's uh, Bob's uh, um, sodium bicarbonate for my food. And if I alkalize, need alkalizing, and I take a little, you know, a teaspoon or whatever of it to alkalize my stomach, and then I, I use the real um, natural that's mined, and then they pull it out with water and evaporate it and put it into the bag so it's just pure. This I still use in the baths, but I, I don't know. I'm, it's just expensive to use the other one. So... Baking soda is an alkalizing, and you can use that this one right here. Um, and people claim that it, that you'll even remove parasites if you have it. And guys, when, I'm going to be talking a little teeny bit about this. Um, these salts uh, will get rid of candida. Um, the, the funguses that our bodies have, and we have it, guys. All of us have it. And you need a little bit of it because the funguses eat all the dead. Um, our cells, as they die, um, there is theoretically a need for some of the healthy uh, funguses, but very few of us uh, are balanced. I mean, we have to constantly be working on it and cleansing and pulling out all the toxins. One of the things about this is is, um, is that, that when you take these baths, you will detoxify, and it's kind of like a masseuse. If you go and have a masseuse do work on you, and you, it'll break things loose, and it's a physically breaking things loose with your hands and your muscles. It's a physical breaking loose. This is a chemical breaking loose, if that kind of makes sense. I, I don't know. That just came to me. Hope that makes sense. Um, but it does break loose, so always drink lots of water when you're doing a cleanse. And it's just good to drink the water so that it flushes your system. Um, and, and you would do that if you were getting a deep massage. Now, I just put salts in here, but I totally forgot to talk about the funguses and the candidas and stuff like that. If you're just alkalizing the water, um, you decide using the uh, um, sodium bicarbonate. It does tend to, if you do it very often, um, dry out your skin. You just do it and you'll find out. Uh, work with it. I use about a half a cup. You could use a little bit more or a little bit less. You decide. I use about a half a cup in my bath um, to do that. My go-to is this. I tend to like to, my Epsom salts. I'll put two cups of it in there. Oh, by the way, I want to make sure that we explain this. I use the salts that you can eat. Food-grade salts. So, this is a salt that's intended for food grade as well, Arm & Hammer. Um, whether you buy into that or not, but Bob's is just too expensive for me to dump a whole package of it into the bathtub. So I use this. You decide. Salts. I love these salts. I buy them in as a feed salt. So it's food grade for feed, 
and, and, and it's intended for feed, um, and it's straight out of the mines. Um, this is a medium. It's the Redmond brand. You can go to IFA. You can go to Tractor Supply or a feedlot um, that's local around your place. And it's like six something for 50 pounds. It's a fantastic price. So I like to pour this in. I poured about two cups in already into the bath water and then I deleted the video. So actually, that stuff was just sitting down in there. So this is good. And you can see that as I, it just takes a little bit and it disappears into the water. Okay, so, and it'll collect up. There's a little bit of clay in it and the clay is good. Clay pulls out all sorts of stuff. It's a, it pulls out heavy metals. And so this, um, salt, because you'll find clay with the salt. So all sorts of minerals are in the clay too. And these mineralize your body. Um, if you soak in this stuff, so I put personally in the water right here, I put in, I poured in about two cups and I just put it into a container. I buy a bulk. Um, oh, and this is fine. So this is a fine and this is a medium. I like the fine because it tends to be more salt and less clay. If you want more clay, go with the medium. And actually, you'll just find which one works better for you. You can see that's all salts and there's, but you can eat this. I mean, a horse, animals eat it. I don't. Um, some people actually will buy this and eat it. My point being made here is that it is a something that you would consume, could consume, it's not toxic. And so that's why you can use it in your bath. I would only use stuff in your bath that you could eat potentially, whether you would or not, right? That's a different story. I'm throwing some more in it. I already did that in the previous video. It's not going to hurt. I like salts in my... You're, it's kind of like a bath. I put two cups of this sodium um, magnesium salt. So I already put two cups in. I'm going to throw an extra cup in. So, and that's all that's in there. I've got, now I've got three cups of Epsom salt and probably three cups of the salts in here. That's great. And it'll soak in. Um, and it, and it becomes salty water. So I soak in there as long as I can. Sometimes I'll soak for a long time. And if you have uh, funguses, it, it, it kills it off. You, you, and then your feet, if your feet are crackly and stuff, soak in there a long time and then just rub off all of the stuff as it kind of uh, um, softens up. Just kind of rub it all off and you'll be amazed at what it does. Um, it does that to your whole body. Stuff's fantastic. So I've covered the feed salts, which are just natural salts out of the ground. And then I've got my um, Epsom salt, and I've covered that. Now the Epsom salt, which is the magnesium sulfate, magnesium will make your muscles uh, more flexible, and that's what you're soaking in. When you soak in Epsom salts, your muscles become more flexible, and you get out and you can just move, and then you relax, and you'll sleep better, and your heart does better. The heart is a store of magnesium. So of all of our muscles, um, the highest concentration of salt is in your heart. So when you're low in magnesium, your heart is being taxed, and it it can cause problems. Um, uh, in fact, uh, I'm going to put some links in here. Look underneath the description. And if you're looking at this video, um, do it on a laptop. If you you know, then you'll be able to see what's in the um, in the description and follow the links and stuff like that. So I'll put some links in there to a lot of information. Borax is the other one. Um, so you can eat this, and I actually eat this, and this is a food grade. It's, it's a, I use a little bit different brand in this one, um, but it's a magnesium sulfate. 
and your body needs it. Let's see if that shows it in here. It has, yeah, plant food. Saline, laxative, for relief of occasional constipation, soaking aid from sprains, and it just loosens up. It's an anti-inflammatory. It loosens your muscles up. It's fantastic for recovery. It'll speed up all your recovery if you're a runner. I went running today, and so this evening, and so it'll just make all my muscles just relax and recover. Fantastic stuff. Um, kids that can't sleep. Throw a little Epsom salt in there. Our children, we throw the Epsom salt in there, and, and they just do fantastic. Then they're more calm. It calms your muscles. It calms anything. Your brain is a muscle. Magnesium is wonderful, and most of us are deficient in it. Dr. Dean has some amazing, she talks about it a lot. I'm going to put a link to her videos, and she'll explain why we need it, and what is a good salt to use. Epsom salt is fantastic. It soaks in transdermally and won't give you any laxative effect as you're soaking in the bathtub. No matter how much you put in that bathtub, it will not give you the laxative effects, but it will give you the relaxing and the muscle effects. So, and then I also have an, uh, an Epsom salt um, uh, oil. And it's a magnesium oil. And I have a video on how I make it and apply it. So if you can't get a bath, people love taking the baths. After doing it, you'll be amazed. You'll do it more often, and it's a good thing. And you soak in it for a while. Um, borax. I take borax in trace amounts. And I have some videos on that. Borax 20 Mule Team is pure. It's mined out of the earth. And it's uh, from a dried up lake bed. And California is the biggest mine, one of the biggest mines in the world. Another one's in Turkey that's been around for thousands of years, and they've been using it for that long, thousands of years. Um, it's a fantastic, it's sodium boride, uh, sodium borate, um, and it is needed by the parathyroid gland to stabilize the calcium blood levels in your body. And if you're low in this, you will, if you're low in boron, your body will start to lose bone. It'll take uh, calcium from your bone. And you'll have a, actually, and it's a tricky thing. And this is all research-based. I'm going to put some links in here for this. But I use, eh, sometimes I'll put a half a cup in the, in my water, sometimes a quarter cup. It's kind of expensive to use. I like it's, Epsom salt's cheaper, so is the... Um, these, so I, I use these two as a go-to, but I'll throw the borax in there once in a while. Um, we need it. It's a good uh, mineral that is found naturally in certain lakes that dried up. That's what those uh, mines are, as dried up lake beds, and it's pure, straight out of the ground. And so this is a go-to. Um, it's in the ocean as well. Um, and what you're doing is you're kind of mimicking the way I like to look at it as like an ocean. And the salts, salts, if you, you think about it, they're in, uh, we use it in water softeners. And we use it to pull the minerals out of the water. It softens that water up. Well, it also cleanses you. You have salts and we, our pores get plugged up, and this stuff will cleanse them up and help you breathe. Salts are amazing. You decide. Try some different things yourself. Find out what you like. Um, with just these salts and my magnesium, um, for example, I was having really dry skin. My my foot was just really dry. I had gone on... Um, I was, uh, uh, um, well, I was going to explain. Let's just say it this way. My, my feet were cracking and dry really bad. Um, and so I soaked in salts, just like what I've got in the bathroom, and this. And soaked for, I think it was close to 45 minutes. And then I was able to rub all of the calloused stuff off of my feet. And they've been good to go. And it, they're like baby's feet right now. Even And it was a week ago. So I'm telling you, this stuff flat out works. And all of us have candida. Some of that was probably candida in there or funguses or whatever. That's why our feet crack, too. Um, 
If you have cracking feet, that's part of it. And you soak that in, and it, it'll leave you. It, it can't stay in there. Especially um, the baking soda, people will use that to alkalize their body. And people have claimed if they have parasites, um, that it actually, they come out because they can't handle the alkalinity. Um, so, I mean, it's a good, all of these perform a role. They're salts, and they work fantastic. And you will just, I just love the Epsom salt baths, though. And then the salt. All right. I think that's pretty much it. Um, let's see. Drink lots of water. I talked about that. I'm just looking at a couple of notes to make sure. Toxicity builds up over time. And the cleanses... Uh, let's see. So that's pretty much. I did talk about that. Um, and then the funguses and candidas. Um, and cancer, you'll find with cancer, people cure cancer with this because it alkalizes your body. Cancer can't live in an alkaline body. So, the, and these salts will do amazing things for the, along that same line as well. Um, okay, so I covered, I think I've covered everything pretty well. All right, well, good luck and God bless. And I hope that your health um, is good and you're uh, able to glean something in here um, and please read the description for more information I will put a bunch of stuff in there um, I'm not going to be able to do it probably right I'll get to it in the next couple of weeks I'll try and put the post this good luck and God bless